Sciatica is one of the most common nerve-related disorder. Sciatica causes leg pain, that radiates from your lower back, to your buttock and down the back of your leg is the hallmark of sciatica. You might feel the discomfort almost anywhere along the whole leg, but it's especially prominent on the back to the buttock and the back of thigh and calf. The pain intensity can vary, from very mild discomfort to severe, shock-like pain. Burning sensation also common. It can worsen during prolonged sitting. Coughing or sneezing also can affect. Some people also have numbness, tingling or muscle weakness in the affected leg or foot. One side leg pain is dominant than low back pain. Commonly only one leg is affected. Pain radiating to foot or toes. Straight leg raising test induces more leg pain. During this test, leg being lifted actively by the patient or passively by the clinician. Patient lying down on their back on an examination table or exam floor, the examiner lifts the patient's leg while the knee is straight. If pain worsens when the straight leg is at an angle of between 30 and 70 degrees, then the test is positive and a herniated disc is a possible cause of the pain. This test has high sensitivity but low specificity. Means, if sciatica is presented, with high probability raising leg will cause pain. But if raising the opposite leg causes pain, cross or contralateral straight leg raising, it increases probability of sciatica pain specifically. Because this test has low sensitivity but high specificity. Sciatica caused leg pain occurs in around 2-3% of general population. Causes in about 90% of cases sciatica is caused by a herniated disc with nerve root compression. Other minority of cases can be lumbar stenoses, and even rarely tumors are possible causes. Risk factors for sciatica. Age, most common from 45 to 64 years. Men are more frequently affected than women. Sciatica risk increases risk height. The taller the person, the risk is higher. Smoking, mental stress. Strenuous physical activity, for example, frequent lifting, especially while bending and twisting. Driving, including vibration of whole body. Diagnosis. Sciatica is mainly diagnosed by history taking and physical examination. Patients mention radiating pain in the leg. The most applied investigation is the straight leg raising test or Lasagne sign. Patients with sciatica may also have low back pain but this is usually less severe than the leg pain. Imaging modalities such as computerized tomography or magnetic resonance imaging can help with the diagnosis of lumbar disc herniation. Prognosis. In general, the prognosis of sciatica is favorable and most pain and related disability resolves within two weeks. 75% of patients reported improvement after four weeks. For around 30% of patients continues to have pain for one year or longer. Treatment. Initially treatment in the first six to eight weeks should be conservative. More than 75% of sciatica cases are managed without surgery. Physical activity is often recommended for the conservative management of sciatica for persons that are physically able. However, according to some research bed rest is also treatment option. There is no one medication regimen used to treat sciatica, nevertheless, NSAIDs are commonly recommended as a first-line treatment for sciatica. Systemic steroids may be offered to individuals with confirmed disc herniation if there is a contraindication to NSAID use. If sciatica is caused by a herniated disc, the disc's partial or complete removal, known as a disectomy, has tentative evidence of benefit in the short term. If the cause is spondylolisthesis or spinal stenosis, surgery appears to provide pain relief for up to two years.